Hello and welcome to the Gamer Tips Duo Podcast number 36. I am one of your hosts, TBC Equity, you can call me Teddy, and this is Eric. Hello. Uh, we are an entertainment podcast mostly focused on video games, PlayStation, Destiny, uh, superhero stuff, comics, TV, movies, all sorts of nerdy junk like that. Um, normally we start off the show by uh, talking about what we've been playing in the past week. Which, surprisingly, Eric, mm. has been a lot. Yeah. This week felt sure. longer than it really was. Felt really long. I think I finished Dishonored, like, last Monday. Mm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so that's that's the first one. Uh, which was good. Dishonored was good. It's, it's, it's good. You know, it's now you need to rewatch the Dishonored 2 trailer. I did. <laughs> um... It's it was cool. I liked it a lot. It was uh, a lot more difficult than uh, people let on, but uh, you know I, I beat it. I got there in the end. Um, it, I don't know. I liked it a lot, but the my one thing is that the mechanics felt a little weird. But you got used to them. Like once you got yeah. used to them, you're fine. But like originally, it's it's a little hard to get used to. But at, over over time, they're fine. Yeah. yeah. The main thing was like, was for me, was like, there's all these abilities you have here, and then all I would use was blink, <laughs> basically blink. That's basically yeah, <laughs> blend, blend time and crossbow. That's it. Yeah. Um, you can go ben, through the whole ben game time. though without killing a single thing. This is true. I was not going to do that. I originally yeah. started like trying to uh, uh, put people to sleep. Um, like most of the time, and then when things got real hard, I'm like, no, ev everyone's gotta die. <laughs> but yeah. it was only like it, when it was necessary. I was like, there are a lot right. of people here. I can't like take the time to choke someone out. I just gotta freaking stab and move on. Freaking uh, Samuel was not happy with me at the end. <laughs> uh -oh. I had the yeah. I had the medium ending, which was like good, but. You know, not great because you still killed a decent. What, um, what way did you beat the uh, the Lord Regent? Which one? The ending one or the first one? Yeah. No, like, did you the fir the f the first Lord Regent when you're entering? Like when you're? I mean, almost all major targets I didn't kill. Almost all major targets I found like uh, neutral ways to kill them. Like, did you expose him over the intercom? Yep. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I did too. Yeah, almost all major targets I did non-lethal with. This game, but... this uh, the 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 game I'm playing on right now, I'm probably gonna see what what happens when I kill him, because yeah. I didn't do that. I haven't done that yet. So. But uh, yeah, at the end I got like the medium ending. But uh, at the you're you go up to the tower. Uh, Samuel takes you back to the beginning place, and he's yeah, and then he's like. And you, Corvo, it's like you've gone out of your way to be brutal. After this, we're never speaking again. And then uh, he stops the boat, he goes, get out! And then I got out, wow. and he's like, goodbye, Corvo. And he looks at me, like, really frowning and, like, disapproving, and then just drives off on the boat. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, then. Nice. And it kind of came out of nowhere because he was like, I'm glad I found you, Corvo. Let's get, let's go get Havlock. Right. And then you go over there. It's this nice little boat ride that he's like, by the way. <laughs> and plus, how does he know? <laughs> That's a good question. That was like the main thing that I took away from like the, the, the good slash bad karma thing <laughs> that Samuel was yeah. mad at me. Uh, I liked it a lot. It was cool. I would, yeah. if I were to rate it, I would rate it an 8.8. 8. Almost a nine. Uh, all right, uh, Dishonored. I'd give it a ten because I don't know what's wrong with it. No. I mean, the story wasn't super interesting. It was good. It was kind of mediocre. I mean, Some it... of the level designs in, early, in the early levels weren't that great. Uh, they got really good as the game went further on, but like the earlier ones weren't that great. Um, like the final tower, the level design was really good for that whole big tower. But some of the missions were kind of like everything was clustered together and stuff. But yeah, just just a couple small things makes it not. It's not. There was like a little. There was it's a not a perfect Last of Us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, I finished Dishonored. I have not, uh, I'm, I plan on doing this, but I haven't gone and done the story DLC yet, but I, oh well, I'll go back and do that. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the one you play as, like, Doubt or something. There's multiple ones, dude, there's like four. Yeah, but I, I, I think, like, there's one that's, like, really big, and the other ones are just, like, extras, I can't remember... I'm pretty sure there's like three story packs, and one of them is one of the packs is oh, wait, actually the one like, that's called Knife of Dunwall. That one's like a really big one where you play as a different character with new abilities, and yeah. it's like a whole story. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the other two are too. Um, well, from what I there saw. was one that's like a horde mode or something. I thought. Yeah, yeah. There's there's one that's a challenge map type thing. Yeah. And yeah. then there's one that's... Actually, yeah, so there might only be two DLC story packs, but uh, there's a, there's at least one more that's yeah. big like that, too. Um, so, yeah, I'll go back and do those. Voidwalker's Arsenal. Yeah. Yep. I'll go back and do those. I just haven't... Dunwall City Trials, that's what it's called. The Knife of Dunwall and the Brigmore Witches. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played them, so... I will. I will. I'll go back at some point. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, we played a little bit of Destiny the other day. Freaking, you know, PvP. Just, yeah. Know, freaking, it was lots of fun. And it is what it is. You're the only one who thinks that, by the way. Me and Ryan are not having fun with PvP. Ryan, even Ryan is like, he went in, He he's like, I'm doing well, but the meta's just not fun. <laughs> oh, well, I agree with that. Yeah. But, I mean. Um... I'm having and, fun using like weird setups and stuff. Like I was, I've been using Lord of Wolves, and it's like really fun. So. All right, yeah, you gotta you gotta mix it up. Um, me and you played Laura Croft the other last night, not the other day, last yeah. night. Yeah, and it's really freaking good. And we're gonna play that after, after this. this podcast. And I really, ow, <laughs> I really want to play it. Um, oh, played some of that Wildstar PTR. Private test realm, yeah. free to play, closed beta the other day. Um, that was really good. The like, I, I played an Esper, which I haven't played an Esper before, so I, I I've always wanted to. It's kind of so, magic base. Well, sort of. Sounds like a Green Lantern, mate. Um, yeah. So that was a lot of fun, but I Let's I only got to play. New class for the bait or for well, free play. They they might at some point. They probably will at some point, but. Not, not for free. Apparently, Guild Wars Two is getting a new class called the Revenant. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, cool. Congratulations. Yeah. I, I hate to say this, but uh, literally, I was telling Eric the other day that I jumped on Wildstar for an hour, jumped on Guild Wars Two for two hours, and I had way more fun <laughs> with Wildstar. I feel bad, but it's just the way of my life. Um, yeah, so that it's was cool. To show you like the main cities and like what you can do. I mean, so it's really awesome. Sure. So Game Boy unlocks level twenty. <laughs> uh, you know that's Actually, true. It's true with most MMOs. To be totally honest. Like, Wildstar is the best when you play the first dungeon. So, how about this? We need to make a deal like we did with uh, with uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender and Sword Art Online. We need to make a yeah. deal where. You get to meet. I'll get you to level twenty, and we'll run Storm Talon on Wildstar, <laughs> and you get me to level twenty at Guild Wars, and we'll okay. do whatever, go to the main city or whatever. We need to do that. Okay. Um. That's mainly it. That's mainly. Oh, finished Halo Three ODST last night. Thank you. Yep. I just sat down. I had like two and a half hours, and I sat down. And, uh, my plan was to like marathon through that on Monday, so I was like, "Yeah, I got a, I got a couple hours. I can play this." And I sat down, and then I'll at uh, like midnight. I was I was like, "Oh, okay. I think this is a good stopping point. Let me see what mission I'm on." And then I look, and I was like, "Oh, I'm on the last mission." <laughs> so I was like, "I'm gonna go ahead and do this." And in basic Halo fashion the last mission was crazy vehicles and awesomeness yeah. um cool it's music a, and all that classic uh, it was great it was a thing. 
This is great. Um, so I finished that. I really, I really liked it. I am going to start Halo Four either tonight or tomorrow. Definitely tomorrow. Uh, maybe. Tonight. I we should try to see like if um if it's any better than our yeah. experience we have just we to can, see. But yeah, we can try. And if it's not, then we'll just be like, sorry, <laughs> yeah. can't do it. Um, you will actually play one of the the games in actual 60 fps no <laughs> lag there is that um so that's all that i've played last i've week. suffered for you teddy <laughs> yeah i can tell if it was anything like the my my experience my, maybe Rick, not as bad as yours but it was still it was you know, laggy it's not perfect and unresponsive so, yeah. yeah dang son why i don't understand it can't be i was having fun <laughs> no, I mean, why is it that big of an issue? Yeah, like, it shouldn't be. Like, like it's all get, Halo's all about multiplayer, thing, and it so. doesn't work really well. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Oh, that's sad. Um, what were you playing? You played Destiny. I played some. I've been playing Destiny PvP mostly sure because I've been trying to shy away from like doing stuff because I feel like I don't know what my progress is going to go towards to when September eighth comes around. So I'm yeah. just kind of like. PvP. Um, I kind of want to get everyone to uh, do raids on Monday, maybe. Just because Yolo. Yeah. Do some, need to do, do some Crota. Blast, do some Crota. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Might do that. What else? Uh, played Guild Wars earlier in the week, but then yeah. I worked, like, eight-hour shifts for, like, three days in a row, so then played less of that. Um, yeah. What else? I, did. I played. We played Laura Croft last night, which was awesome. Yeah. Um. I opened Wildstar and then I couldn't play it because I forgot. <laughs> 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 Wait. By the way, do you not have a beta code? Beta code. Yeah. A uh, a PTR free to play beta code. Where would it be in my email or something? Yeah, they would have emailed it to you. If you signed up, though, you, you had to actually, like, uh, press, like, sign up. You might not have done that. So. Rip. Oh, okay. I mean, you can. The beta is still going on for a while, and they're still sending out codes, so friggin' yeah. try it later. That's right. Here we go. Um, what, what's this? That's probably mostly what you played in the past. Oh, week. free trial. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Guild Wars, I've I gotten, like two characters to like level 25 and then my third character is like level 11 ish um it's really easy to level up and it's a lot it fun. really is i played for two hours and i was level eight and i was like all right um yeah and also <laughs> on like fridays or something you can uh log in and get like the daily rewards and i got one of the like three books that level you up once <laughs> Rip. it's like oh thanks for the three levels <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, that worked out. Uh, so that's what we've been playing. Sp I can log in right now and see what my daily reward is. Speaking of MMOs, also speaking of Wildstar, because that's what we were just talking about, they announced uh, the free-to-play date. Moving on into the news, um, let's open this article right here. They announced the uh, free-to-play date, which is September... September 29th? Yeah, which is September I remembered 29th. that. Yeah, uh, which is awesome. I really... I like that it's... Uh, it's a... <laughs> It's a lot earlier than I was uh, expecting. I was expecting it to be a bit later, but I will take it. Because if it is a bit later, like, I was really hoping that it wasn't, like, in November, because that's when, like, all the crazy right. games are. Uh, this is it's, it's, still it's a decent date. I would have liked it, like, uh, I would have liked, like, early September, but this is still yeah. fun. It works. Well, actually, are you sure, mate? Are you really sure with Taken King? <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted it early September, as in, like, September 1st. First, <laughs> Give yeah. me, like, a week or two. Um, they're branding the update, which, by the way, the update is called Wildstar Reloaded, for, for clarification. Oh, so they're, the update yeah. is called that. Okay, uh, good. <laughs> yeah, that would have been very weird. Uh, Wildstar Reloaded includes big changes to core game systems, a new character creation, and intro experience, improvements to dungeons, itemization, trade skills, world bosses, and group content, a class stat revamp, new quality of life features, bonus events, the cosmetic reward programs, and so much more. And best of all, it'll all be totally free. So, 
if you are a fan of MMOs or just a fan of cool, nifty games and yeah. places and things, <laughs> and you have a computer, download that on uh, September 29th, which is a... What day of the week is that? That is a Tuesday. All right. All right. Well, uh, yeah, so there you go. Wildstar, free to play. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited for Something I would actual like to throw cues. Out that I think is a little cues. funny. Just a little, little funny. Uh, Wildstar and Guild Wars are both like published by NCSoft. Yeah. yeah which I think is funny. I I thought no, oh, who oh yeah, that's right. Um but yeah, they they're two games that are to get they're by, published by the same guys, but apparently Guild Wars is gonna branch off. Oh, to a different mm-hmm. publisher? I think just by themselves. Oh, well, that would make sense. They're getting huge, you know? So, yeah, especially with free-to-play. They'll be pretty big, and they can probably survive by themselves. That's interesting. You don't see that <laughs> It's because I saw that. It reminded me because I saw that joke about someone going like, well, now, now uh, Guild Wars 2 doesn't have to feed revenue for Wildstar. <laughs> I was like, wow. Savage. Thanks, son. Um, let's see here. Quick bits of news before we can move into some meteor stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, so they yep. have been emailing codes out a lot, and they said that they're not gonna they're not gonna start stop uh, emailing codes until like the um, a, like until free to play launches. Okay. So you're good because you still got freaking like right. four weeks basically. Yeah, four weeks. Also, if uh, somebody. I follow a couple of people from Carbine that tweet out codes randomly, so if I see a code real quick, I'll just try and send it to you. Sweet. Um, Alright, so quick right. bits of news. Star Wars Battlefront is getting a beta. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> they didn't give a release date, or like when we can sign up for the beta. I heard October. Yeah, that would be about right. The game is coming out on the November 17th. Also, New Egg has a, has a special on a tiger rice cooker. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Saw that in my email. <laughs> I really don't know. There you go. If you're looking so for nice. a rice cooker, yeah. go to New Egg. <laughs> go to New Egg. Go to New Egg. They're having a sale. Dang. Um, oh, wow. I have PS4 th- firmware 3.0 on this Google Doc twice. All right. Um, <laughs> Oh, the last bit of quick news, and then all the rest is pretty uh, pretty deep stuff. Persona 5 release date is supposed to be announced next week. It's pretty large. Uh, oh my gosh! I want it so bad, dude. I, I feel like it will happen. So. I, I don't know. I don't even want to really make a guess uh, about like 2015 Well, if it's going to be this year, then probably... <clears throat> um, I want to say, maybe, I don't know, late November. I, I would say freaking December. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was thinking December as well. I, I would like that. I would like December. If it came out this year, I would like for it to be December. Because I can at least be wrapping up on most of my November games. Right. Oh, man, that would be so... Oh. Man, if, seriously, if Persona 5... I, I said this, like, forever ago, and probably on a podcast... Uh, like in the summer, that if Persona 5 came out this year, along with everything else, it would be the absolute, like, one of the best years for gaming. Like, ever. Gosh dang, Fallout 4, Halo 5, yeah. freaking Destiny expansion, Duty, Star Wars Ops. Battlefront. Man, it's crazy. Alright. And a new, new uh, Call of Duty with zombies in it. Oh, I love it. Uh, Eric, do you want to want to do you want to watch one of these trailers? We have yeah. two trailers that we're gonna watch. Um, yeah. All Let's right. Do Let's watch the Arrow season four trailer. You heard me right, Arrow fans. Arrow season four trailer. Start. Which I have a couple of things while. to say about this trailer. When we yeah. Uh, all right. I've seen it already, but. <clears throat> okay. Three, two, one, play. Didn't switch. There we go. <laughs> the arrow's dead. 
couldn't be that green hoodie though. Even if I wanted to be. And I don't Because the music it. isn't like. Really cheesy. Oliver walked away. The ghosts, they're like nothing we'd ever seen before. Like Diggle's new costume is in here. Yeah. Which looks a lot better looks cool. <laughs> like in live action than just like one still. <clears throat> and people are like, oh, is Constantine. Yep. Some new character, which we actually see a lot throughout this trailer. Oh, you don't know who I am, do you? I'm Damien Dark. So you're all fretting about this city dying. I'm here on behalf of an organization that wants you to let it die. This town started going to crap the moment you put on that hood. You brought madness into all our lives and the monster you're right. Mr. Lance is still annoying. Yup, still, still, still annoying. All you yeah. represent is anarchy. You've certainly chosen an unusual <laughs> hobby, Mr. Even when we're out there, we are not out there together. You both almost got killed tonight because you didn't have each other's back. Let's go, Magneto. <laughs> it is not in my job description. It's like a Magneto. Ready? When people go on the head, they don't cut out the same. Zero. Return of the boobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and then this. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Since when are you such a badass? Since always. Gosh, dang it. Uh, so. Yeah, it's still annoying. Yeah. Yeah. So my main, <clears throat> the main positives for this trailer is that season three looks salvageable. Um, yeah. Which I was worried about. Um, <laughs> dismantle it. You gotta freaking. The... You gotta remaster that. You gotta take the pile of poo and you gotta clean it up. Yeah. And uh, maybe it can be a presentable pile of poo. <laughs> you know, there was actually it's a, little... a, myth bu a Mythbusters did a segment about polishing poop into a oh. ball, and it's possible. Oh. I would have never known. Fun fact yep. of the day. There you go. You can <clears throat> polish a ball of poop. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, <laughs> so my main uh, positives for this trailer... Let's see, I'm just gonna go through. You always gotta love the green hoodie. Uh, apparently, Ray Palmer is assumed dead from the explosion. <laughs> that that freaking the... scene, though, was still, like, cracks me up. Yeah, the explosion. Uh, and they're, they, I don't know how they're gonna make this make sense, but they're renaming the city Star City, which is actually what it's called, instead of Starling City, which is awesome. Um... I really like that. Here's uh, Diggle's helmet, which I actually do think looks cool. Um, Speedy's going around. Rip Roy, still one of my favorite characters, and now he's just gone. Here's this Wait. new character. Like, Hold on, one, one, one second here. I, I just had someone comment on my status about uh, Shamalama Ding Dong's new gosh dang it. video or movie, The Visit. He says, shut your dirty mouth, Ginger. Shamalama Ding Dong movies are, are really good. Didn't you say that it was a good movie? Weren't you like... No. Oh. But wait, you didn't like it? You what? Didn't, you didn't like the movie? The Visit? I thought it... I didn't watch it. Oh, well, why would you say that? I was talking about the trailer. Oh. The trailer looks good for a horror movie. Ryan really wants to see it, and he's like a horror movie fanatic. Let's get, guys, get in the kit, get in the oven. Yeah. No. no. That's the whole point. Not it's scary. It's laughable. Grandparents. Oh. It's well, laughable. Also, apparently, from legit, I'm just tossing right. out what Ryan says as a horror fan. Also, I am. Also, I am really he big likes Shyamalama Ding Dong as a director. He says that he's a good director. In certain movies. In certain movies. In certain movies, he's really great. Okay. What movies are these? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. <sighs> I'm just saying. So there's that. No and remorse. Ryan does want to see the visit. So I freaking don't judge movie before you probably, see it, man. I'd probably laugh. That's all I gotta say. I do. I, judging by the trailer, <laughs> that's not a cover there. That's part of the movie. It's a trailer. It's not the, the movie. Grandma, the grandma says, hey, honey, can you get in the oven? I thought that was a little weird. I didn't yeah. laugh, but I thought it was a little weird. But I, like, I thought the whole concept of, like, spooky spooky grandparents is, like, 
I don't know, unique in a way. Like, it's normally the kids in, like, horror movies, you know? Yeah. But, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not a horror movie person. I don't like horror movies, so. Anyways. <laughs> uh, it's better. Random The Visit topic just, uh, yeah. popped up. Uh, Arrow Season 4 trailer. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was taking it bit by bit about positives. Damien Dark looks like a cool, the actor for him looks... Looks like yeah. he's doing good. Um, they showed flashbacks in the trailer. I like that they're addressing that Diggle and Oliver are not going to work well together now, which is something. Um, the new Arrow costume is still awesome, and that's my positives. Negative. Uh, still don't like that Roy is gone. Speedy. Oh, another positive. Speedy yeah. is uh, is is freaking affected by the pit which is cool um yeah uh just some crazy stuff going on yeah oh negative lance is still annoying lance is still I don't get upset it. who is like okay all right uh what's your face actor be annoying all the time <laughs> good doing great here's your money also number two one of the big problems with uh season three was that felicity was in a bunch of crap that she didn't need to be like and she's crying all the time. But that's its own thing. Uh, in this, she has a machine gun. Yeah. She doesn't freaking... She's, she's just an IT person. Like, the, wh why? And then at the she end, also, she needs to stop... Person. She she's... needs to stop uh, my... One of my freaking... I remember this so much. That one scene where a gosh dang League of freaking Shadows, or oh, whatever yeah. it's called, member comes out and she just it's... kicks him in the shin <laughs> and then moves on and he's like oh I'm falling over oh. <laughs> and the same thing again like what <sighs> like and this looks like a this is a big like tatted up guy with freaking muscles and she just kicks him in the freaking shin and he's like oh like <laughs> what she's not she's um... not trained but apparently, kicking people in the shin is their weak is everyone's weak point. So there's that. There's still, there's still crap Felicity stuff. Yeah. But they can fix it. it. It's fixable, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, do Do you agree with all this? <laughs> yeah, I do. Basically. It's, it's, yeah. It's so dumb. It's weird. Uh, yo, guess what else, dude? Guess what else? Uncharted 4 is a release date. Yeah. And I have the collector's edition pre-ordered. Boom. Receipt. <laughs> Can't see it. <laughs> they can. <laughs> they can. I can. Uh, they announced two different, three different, I guess you can say, collector's editions. One is like an $80 version. One is a $120 version. And one is a digital deluxe uh, version. Deluxe. And uh, yeah, I have the $120 version because that is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Yeah, the release date is March 18th, which is awesome. That's all I really have to say here. Uh, it's basically the same, like, area that Infamous came out. Yeah. Roughly. I'm gonna, if I can get this picture, I will, uh, I'll show this picture and how cool it looks of the collector's edition. Also, the statue is 12 inches. That's gonna be a big statue. That's all I gotta say about that. That's a foot. It's gonna be yeah. a big statue. It's like my little my, head. my little Uncharted Three statue will look like a baby compared to the Uncharted <laughs> Four statue. Uh, but yeah, I am gosh dang excited. They I was watching kind of funny hosted a GameStop thing. Not totally sure what it was, but uh, they they played through the same demo from from E three, and I just watched the same demo again. And I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that one demo is so good. Yeah. So March 18th, get your wallets ready, boys and girls. Also, uh, something coming out. I already have it pre-ordered, so. Nice. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You did that I've had ago. it pre-ordered, actually, since it was, like, announced. Yeah. <laughs> so, PS4 firmware 3.0 is happening. Uh, it's going, the beta is going to happen pretty soon. So we're getting, like, better, more cloud space? A lot more. That's like the big. That's something. the. 
<laughs> Way to ruin it. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh, dude, we got this big thing. And you're like, so we're getting more, uh, we're getting more cloud space, right? <laughs> Eating goldfish. Yeah. Dude, this it's isn't surprising huge. because it's I have huge. it on Xbox. Dude, this is huge. How much cloud limited. space do you have on Xbox? You don't limited. have unlimited. No one has unlimited. You can't put two terabytes of space. No. Um... <laughs> No, but I you can put like full games on there. I've done it before. Full games or full game saves? Well, mostly saves. You can well, yeah. do mostly it like it automatically puts the saves on there. Yeah, if you that's have what PS4 like. does. Yeah. Uh, nice. so the online store. This is the biggest thing about 3.0 is that online storage capacity is raised from one gig to ten gigs, which is amazing. It's a lot better than what it is now. Uh. I, I, dude, oh my gosh, that would be so nice. Because every time I quit a game and turn off my PS4, I open it up, and I immediately have notifications that the saves can't upload to the cloud because there's no space. I never but, have this problem. Freaking, I, I have them. Ryan has it too, I'm pretty sure, and he doesn't even have that many games. Maybe I just don't notice it. You um, also might not have it set to upload to the cloud. It's, it might be a specific setting. You never know. Well, I have... Bloodborne does it. Hmm. Well. Because that's how I beat the game three times at once. Well, I have a huge problem. You should go. Uh, you should go look though. I'm. I'm curious as to how many games you actually have on your online cloud. I'm not sure how to check it to be honest. Oh, it's just it's like over in the settings, and then it's either system storage man. No, it's just I think it's application uh, storage management, and then like you choose cloud yeah. or whatever. I think. <clears throat> okay, let's go over the other bits real quick. Uh, you can, you'll be able to stream to YouTube. There will be an ev This is actually cool. There will be an events hub. A new hub for events has been added, giving an overview of activities taking place in the games you play most, as well as official broadcasts. F for instance, you may see an update for a double XP weekend, a special enemy appearing at a scheduled time, or seasonal events like in-game towns being decorated for the winter. So, Destiny will most likely take advantage of this. I like how it specifically says, a special enemy appearing at a scheduled time. Yeah. I wonder what's that all about. Picking the special enemy, mate. Yeah. Uh, favorite groups, you can, make a, you can make a group of favorites for your friends list. Communities, you can make those. Uh, is what you would think it is, I guess. Uh, you can I share... like a group on Skype or something. Yeah, yeah. Just group it all together. Um, you we can, can invite at the same time. That'd be maybe. That would be nice. Um, you can share ten-minute video clips to Twitter, which is interesting. You can send stickers oh. in messages, which I guess is like probably guessing emojis. Um, the now playing and what's new screen will be uh, will be updated to look better, which is nice. Uh, live from PlayStation will be Im improved, and you can. Uh, look on your friends list and see somebody playing something and you can request to watch and they can just like hit a button and it'll start broadcasting and huh. they'll, the other person will be watching which I think is really cool um, so yeah firmware 3.0 the beta I think is either starting really soon or has already started so that'll probably hit us uh, somewhere in the fall be my guess. I don't know where to see it. oh wait <laughs> uh which means, Eric, all we have left to talk about is the Destiny news, the Halo 5 cinematic, and then the drop. Yeah. We're doing real good. What do you, uh, do you want to talk about the Destiny stuff or save that until after we've seen the... Not sure. Well, we can talk about Halo. Okay. Uh, later. Okay. We'll talk about it later. So, Destiny, let's see. They revealed, they did the Court of Oryx reveal stream, which was yep. cool. Which is cool. Um, swords. <laughs> swords. If... Also, I heard this today on the De Planet Destiny podcast. They were like, they showed the swords, and the, the, the sword they showed was an exotic sword. It wasn't like a legendary or anything. Well, yeah. It was an exotic sword. sword. I thought. Did you not watch it, cool. mate? I did. You did? Okay. Yeah. I, I was just saying that of all these short swords they could have shown, yeah. it was an exotic one. Yeah. That's cool. I really. Man, I just can't it seems like we're going to be forging the sword, so I'm wondering. You are. If we're going to get like a crafting table, like a <laughs> coder, like encoder, and make the swords. Lol. You know? Lol. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and what if you can like put different like crystals in there, and it turns into different 
like burns and have different abilities. That would be great. Especially with exotic. I could see that with an exotic. I feel like we're going to overhype that, and we're probably just going to take you to the gunsmith and be like, hey, yo, I found these materials. And he's going to be like, okay, here's your sword. Yeah, it's not like we're going to go to, like, some mystical uh, forge out in the middle of nowhere. That would be be so dope, though. Yeah, yeah, it would, because you stick your sword and you put it out like like this, and then, or like this. Our expectations are a little bit and high like, for the sword and then it pulls up a screen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they didn't show off the tier three stuff, which is cool because that implies that the tier three Court of Oryx is going to be very, uh, very, very interesting, very hopefully complex. It doesn't look like I can, I like I can view my um, cloud storage. You but. can. You you have to, like, it'll give you the option to either delete or, like, upload. And then you go and, like, freaking, you yeah. know. You it's can. Delete or download. Just press delete and then go and look. You don't have to delete. You just press delete and then you're there. Seeing all of them. Oh. Yeah. Um, let's see. I see. Mm. Is there anything else big from the actual stream? Um, There's the big well, I mean, weekly Court update. Of Oryx, freaking, you know, itself. I, I mean, yeah, sort of. <laughs> I like that the they he constantly said that the um, that the bosses will be varied. Like he he consistently is like, you're not gonna repeat. <laughs> you're gonna it's, have different ones. I just like that these guys aren't bullet sponges. Like they just took some guns and they were destroying them but there was still like some sort of difficulty to it yeah there are mechanics mm-hmm. yeah i mean that's mainly it from the stream itself but the weekly update boys whoo oh the weekly update but wait there's more <laughs> but wait there's more um <laughs> billy mace but wait you gotta scream whatever you're doing billy mace but wait there's more <laughs> oxy queen billy mace here Billy, <laughs> Billy Mays here with the Benji weekly update. Um, the biggest thing on the weekly update is that on September 8th, they are doing a Crucible preview event, they're calling it, which means all eight new maps and Rift and Mayhem will be unlocked for everyone. Mm-hmm. For, so we are actually going to be able to play... All eight new maps and Rift and Mayhem. Oh my gosh, a week before the expansion comes out. Like, with the official things. Oh, it's so good. It's awesome. I mean, That's what I'm excited too. about most. The Gunsmith is actually... Like, his changes are going to be taken in effect. Um, character level cap. The leveling system is implemented, but you can only level to 34. Which I actually called. I was like, it's a little weird that you could level to 40 a week in yeah. advance. But... Uh, so you can level to 34, so if you're, like, a lower level and you just haven't gotten that armor, there you go. <clears throat> Gabby, <clears throat> Jared. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> you're dying over there. <laughs> but, yeah, they, uh, they should. that to them right here. <laughs> there you go, Gabby and Jared. On Tuesday, do it. 2.0 happens. I wonder if they, get, do do they get sparks of light. Yes. But they don't, they, well, everyone gets sparks of light. Oh, yeah. Um... If we're talking about the, I'm not to, yeah, Sparks of Light is the, the uh, is the bonus, right? Or the, the, oh, the, yeah, that one. So uh, they do it on another character. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They do, they, they need to use that on somebody else. Um, which is really cool for them, actually. Let's see. see my, um... <laughs> I always wear that, mate. Yeah, so do I. Right here. Um, let's see. Biggest things. We'll go through it all now. The 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 level differences are happening. The light and level change is happening. So like attack and defense ratings and stuff uh, are Every, all. Going everything to be is going to have like a recommended light. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead of like a level. Grimoire score is moved onto your character screen and not your nameplate. Um, a quest screen and the the tracking and. The whole quest system is, and the 16 bounties and all that, that's happening. Mm-hmm. Um, gear um, 1 also, activities have been converted to the quest system, which is cool. Um, completed and uncompleted bounties will be um, 
taken off your bounty bounty list, so do those, turn them in. Uh, but exotic bounties, whether they're Elder Ciphers or the regular exotic bounties, they will get completed and you'll be handed a free exotic. Oh, so, so yeah, Eric, your one Elder Cipher that you mm. have left, you don't even need to worry about yep. it. Now. There you go. Yeah. Just, oh, nothing's happening over here. Um, <laughs> let's see. Bounty slots are increased. Uh, there's the all the uh, incomplete stuff that you were talking about. The collections will be a thing. Um, yep. Exotic armor and weapon blueprints will be in effect. Motes of light will be used to grant XP to weapons and armor, which is interesting. The uh, the armor materials will happen. Uh, Vanguard Quartermaster will exchange old materials for armor materials. Update this change takes effect on 9.15. So... Interesting. Um, uh, that is mainly it. The uh, the update 2.0 itself will actually is basically the the Taken King as well, so that they can just flip a switch, which is cool. Um, I like it when yeah. they do that. Oh man, I'm so excited to play the Crucible on the eighth. Oh my god! Ah! Yeah, don't, don't four know. square. <laughs> Literally, what's happening right now? Um. But yeah, I am I am so excited to play the Crucible. It's gonna be so good. It's oh, Man. it's gonna be so good. Destiny Four Square. Destiny Four Square. With expansion pack. With the 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 soccer ball in the tower. We need a Four Square. Micro transactions. <laughs> Give it. <laughs> no, let's just for, not ever. For, for a small fee of twenty bucks, you can open up the room in the tower that allows <laughs> Don't you. Don't worry, Foursquare you'll throw Foursquare. money at your screen. You really want to play Four Square? <laughs> Trust us. Oh my gosh. What if that's the new emotes are really just a mini game of Four Square? <laughs> All right. It's like an animation of you like kicking a ball. <laughs> Man. So yeah, look forward to Four Square coming to Destiny in two point <laughs> confirmed. And uh, this Halo Five opening cinematic. Oh, uh, before we go on the Halo real fast, um, in I was reading the Reddit this morning, uh, the Destiny. As, as you do. Yes, as I do. Um, and someone made a suggestion about changing all the sparrows into uh, broomsticks for Halloween, and Cosmo actually commented, and uh, he. Uh, he uh, said he would pass along to the live team. I think so. that's... Yeah, I mean, there you go, I guess. I'm not too something. excited about that. It's kind of yeah, cool. It's like the jackal... Yeah. Well, dude. Jackalites freaking... work. Just do something for gosh dang Christmas. I wish they would do some, like, scenery changes. Like, come on. All I saw, I saw that, and I was like, we have the... I saw, I saw that title of that thing, and my thought in my head went, why? We already have jackalites. Just do something for Christmas. And I scrolled. <laughs> I just want Jack something for Christmas. Yeah. What do you mean, jackalites? We have jackalites for Halloween. We don't need something new. No, we, of course. On RuneScape, every every Halloween. I mean, and that's Christmas, cool. There's different events. But I know. But don't Let's change do it thing. if you're not gonna have anything for Christmas. I, all I'm saying is, last year they only had something for Halloween. If it's gonna be a big thing. Like, don't prioritize that. Have they had something a thing for, for Christmas. Christmas, and it was literally just a random present. Ingram, which yeah. was stupid. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, if they can do both, go for it. But... I say they change the tower on Christmas. It should be lights, and there needs to be snow. Like, come on, oh. It'd be that hard? Oh, It'd be amazing. That would be so good. All I really wanted was a Santa hat. To be totally honest, oh, yeah, Santa I just hat. wanted I just wanted everyone to be running and, around. And, Santa and in hat. the background, you would hear a ho ho. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of screams good. and like yeah. death, <laughs> the hives are like, <laughs> and, the, and there's bells on everybody. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Now we're just going into like Warframe where they had that uh, everyone was like bunny bunny <laughs> ears for Easter. Oh man. All right, let's watch this Halo 5 opening cinematic because it's amazing. Yes. It's so good. All right. Yeah. Three, two, one, play. I've watched this so many times. I wonder why more console wasn't uploading Halo stuff.
highlight of this is the music. So if you're watching, just Fire listen. Team Osiris. Over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. Halsey? She claims to have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to infinity. Also, that's a spoiler for Halo 4. Dr. I didn't really know. Covenant it's a spoiler for Halo Dama. Reach. If you have the well, thanks. I was going to play that. <laughs> Stop telling me spoilers. <laughs> Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Thanks for the Good luck. Buy the first drink when we're done. You ask, you buy. Fire Team Osiris. The light is green. So luck and luck are still like very. Wait, hold on. This is the best part right here. The freaking title. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Those bells. Oh. And now it goes into a gosh dang like Avengers Age of Ultron opening here. So awesome. Copy that, Spartan Buck, online and ready. Spartan Veil, online. Weapons free. Contact. The ODST helmet. Oh, it's 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 so good. I really, really, really like that. <laughs> I've watched it way too many times. But like when the actual game comes out, I'm oh, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna watch it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. <sighs> like that's that's all I have to say about that. Is that that that's just awesome, in in many ways. Every single way. Yes. Oh my goodness. And dude. There is still like some major backstory that you can learn from. Uh, I yes, I do know. Yeah, uh, it's great. Yeah. All right. Well, forty-eight minutes. We're good. Well, we're doing we're doing real we're doing good. good. Yeah. Uh, so the drop doesn't have that much this week, but I saw a couple of things that I thought were interesting. So here we go. The drop by PlayStation Powerhouse Ryan Clements. Here we go. The drop. The drop. Like always. Hi, okay. Billy Maisie. <laughs> <laughs> Here with your weekly drop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. New releases for September 8th, 2015. Of course, Arcade Archives, Ajax. I don't know what Ajax is. Uh, PS4. Ajax, like if you Ajax. had a real weapon. Ajax. Sure. <laughs> Ascendant for PS4, which has a really cool looking art style. Interesting. I know about that. Uh, Broken Sword 5, The Serpent's Curse, PS4. Also known as Tomb Raider. <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> All right. uh, oh, wow. EA Sports, FIFA 16. It's PS4, PS3. It's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game. That's a weird mohawk there, man. That is, yeah, that's something. Uh, Fat City, Fat PS Vita. Fat City. 
That's in this thing. action puzzler with 60 targets spread throughout the five boroughs of New York City, players will use their cunning and brain power to plan raids and execute getaways to pull in the big bucks in the city that never sleeps. In the fat city. The fat city. Hypervoid. This is the one that I actually think looks cool. PS4, cross by with PS3. It also comes with a trial. There is a trial for this, so there's that. Um, knock Knock for PS4 looks kind of freaking creepy. Oh, dude, that game is amazing. It is a really good is game. Is it freaking creepy? It's a little spooky. Yeah. But it is really good. It is really cool. Um, it is really it's cool a, mechanics. It's a, it's a 2D it's game. I assume it's a PC first type thing. Yeah. I, um, and it's a 2D game. Spooky. Well, it's a, little, it's a tad spooky. But it's like really cool and has a little like vague story that you have to kind of figure out as you go throughout. So throughout Limbo. It. <laughs> it's that only a little bit more colorful. Alright. So. Yeah, I heard knock knock, I was like, what's that? And then I saw the picture, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. It was on the uh the Steam Green Light program. Random uh Yeah. Random uh history. But yeah, it's a really cool game. So. It's a little bit creepy. I'm watching like I mean, the if little if it's like ten bucks for it. or fifteen bucks, it's probably worth it. Alright, yeah. cool. There's your Eric's uh, highlight of the week. That's because I knew the game. <laughs> Leo's Fortune for PS4. Looks like a platform of a ball that is very sad. <laughs> yeah, it looks just really sad. <laughs> One Piece Pirate Warriors 3. Did we have something PS about Vita. One Piece last I thought we did too. I saw that and I was like... I, it's anime. I don't know. Uh, this is my highlight of the week. Tearaway Unfolded. Uh, it comes with a trial. It's for PS4. I am not totally sure how this is going to translate to PS4 because Tearaway is one of the most heralded Vita games because it sh actually uses all of the Vita's tech in a good way and it makes sense and it's not annoying and it's not gimmicky. So it's like you have to port that over to a PS4 so you have to like use your DualShock 4 for like certain things. I just don't fully know how that works as a well, port, like, but I've been hearing how, I've been hearing how good was it used it. Uh, on uh... Vita. Touch screen and freaking mic and freaking uh. back touchpad and like everything. That well, <laughs> DualShock 4 mic. doesn't have a there's back touchpad. Touch pad. It doesn't have a back touchpad. And, no, and it used touch screen and yeah. it. I, I just feel like it'd be difficult to port but I haven't been hearing that it's awful. Yeah. I heard that it's uh, that it's good just not as good as the Vita one. So, But yeah. Pick that up. It's probably cool. It's got a good uh, personality to it. It's uh, made by a media mo molecule. A little bit yeah. of guys. Aren't they doing another game? They yeah. do a lot of games. They're, I think they're also a publisher. Oh. I th well, might be. Might be. Aren't they known for something else, though? Well, they're known for Little Big Planet. That's right. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're working on that Dreams game, which is yeah, very dreams. odd. <laughs> which uh, they're always. They always do. Like, all their games are weird. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, freaking, there you go. Freaking, dr uh, Tearaway Unfolded. Dreams does look interesting, but I want to see an actual, like, like, more of a demo of what it is. Because mm -hmm. it's, right now, they just showed, they showed a video that didn't yeah. really make much sense. So, uh, hey. show and tell. We always show something random before we leave, and... I mean, coming to PS Video is Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron. There you go. There you go. PS Video. Um, <laughs> something random. I think... Something I, random? Yeah, I think I have something, if you don't... Oh, right here. Oh, I totally have something. What is that? It's a, oh, it's an Ant-Man movie ticket. Yeah. Congratulations on seeing that mm -hmm. awesome movie. It's we should talk movie. about that a little bit, but there's not much to I mean, say other yeah. than that it's amazing and you should and see Thomas it. And Thomas the Train. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 oh, man. I, I love that movie. That movie is great. The giant. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand why Andrew was like, eh, I didn't really like it as much as everybody else did? No, I don't either. I don't either. It doesn't make any sense because it was great. Baskin Robbins always finds out. I think... <laughs> My favorite actor has to be the the guy Pim or whatever, the old guy. Oh, Michael Douglas. Yeah. I thought uh, I thought 
Now the name is escaping me. Do you know the actor who played uh, actual like Ant Man? Like Scott? yeah, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Yeah, he he did really great. I, mm-hmm. I liked him a lot. So uh, my random thing of the of the week: lightsaber, come at me, son. <laughs> I can't even see you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just have a lightsaber in my drawer. Why? I don't know. But I, I mean, who doesn't? I mean, what if someone comes and tries to play Foursquare with you? <laughs> Get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's a Sith Lord! Oh. We gotta run! <laughs> Actually, I got my paycheck last Friday, oh. and I bought myself a really nice fan. Nice. So, like, it's metal, and it's really nice, to, easy to clean. Cool. And it has three speeds. Three speeds? And it's really quiet. Like, I bet you can't even hear it right now. No, I can't. Well, now I can't because the air is no. blowing on the mic. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the actual fan, I couldn't hear. That's yeah, nice, the, dude. Yeah, it's really nice. But, um, yeah, and I also got a new monitor that's coming on, like, Tuesday. I got paid. I got my last paycheck for my other job, and I'm just holding on to it, trying to decide what to use it for, and just kind of waiting. So, you know. I'm gonna get that scuff controller. I just don't know if I want to uh, do it or not. So, yeah, uh, that is the show. Reach out to me and Eric on Twitter. I'm at Tobisiak. He is at Legend PVM. Let us know how you're liking the show. Tell all your friends. Yeah. Tell your family. Go grab a piece of cake. Enjoy that cake, and then uh, puke it into the toilet. Wash it or, or flush it. Send it to the ocean. Let the fish enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Thank you and good night.